I'm Nick from the Roses Theatre and whilst we wait to welcome you back we're bringing you two minutes of roses and today my guest is an actor star of stage screen and housewives favorite it's Bill Ward <laughs> hello Bill how are you <laughs> I'm all right Nick how are you I'm all right I'm surviving what have you learned about yourself over these last couple of months in these strange strange times Bill that I have a very, very uh, short and very poor lack of patience, uh, particularly <laughs> when it comes to homeschooling and all of that kind of stuff. So, uh, so yeah, oh, so yes. I've been doing a, doing a fair amount of that and uh, finding out that my five-year-old knows, well, six-year-old now knows more about maths than I do. And uh, yeah, so it's been great. It's been good fun, but it's been, yeah, trying. I, I share your pain. <laughs> <laughs> Bill, um, we met 20 years ago when we were doing we weekly rep in a, in a theatre down in Devon. Now, the weekly rep schedule was such that it was 12 plays in 12 weeks. You'd turn up on a Friday with your script. You'd block the play. You'd learn the lines at the weekend. You'd rehearse Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and you'd open on Thursday, all whilst doing another play in the evening. Now, yeah. you're very well known for uh, Corrie and Emma Dale. You've done something like 700 episodes between the two. And I imagine that there are pretty tight deadlines and a pretty hard work uh, along the lines of weekly rep. How do they compare? Yeah, very similar in a kind of, you actually sort of get your scripts for something like Corey and Emmerdale about a week and a half, two weeks before. Mm -hmm. um, and, but, but in terms of, um, they, they'll give you uh, um, new uh, amendments, script amendments, but possibly sort of up to a day before, sometimes on the night before. It doesn't happen very often, but it does happen. But the thing that's particularly different is, is you, with a soap, you obviously, there's no rehearsal. So even with weekly rep, where you, there's very little rehearsal, at least there is some rehearsal. And the thing with telly in, in particular, and soap specifically, is there's obviously absolutely no rehearsal at all. So you turn up on whatever it is at eight o'clock on a, on a Monday morning in a studio and you have a two page scene and you have 40 minutes to make it work. And then you're moving on to the next and on to the next and on to the next. And you, th wow. there's no kind of coming back later if you can't make it work. So in that sense, it's kind of a, it's a visceral pleasure in that you, you just have to deliver, stand and deliver. And, uh, and I really like that about the soaps because, because it, it forces you to make instant decisions and then stick by them. And yeah. Weekly Rep is very similar with that. I, I mean, you kind of, as you say, you get to, to block it. But I guess the, the main difference is very little rehearsal with Weekly Rep versus absolutely none with the soap. Uh, Bill, this is for the Roses Theatre in Tewkesbury. Uh, can I ask, when did you last send someone roses? Um, I last gave my partner roses earlier this month. It was her birthday and uh, I gave her a pot, uh, as does finest. Uh, sort of uh, one of the ones that you can stick in the garden afterwards. So it kind of, it, it, a bit of roses longevity. That's the, you don't want that kind of cut roses nonsense where they look very nice for a couple of days and then they die. Um, I'm, I'm all for a bit of longevity and, and, and having them uh, look nice over time. Indeed. Now then, uh, you appeared in the West End at the Palace Theatre in Spamalot, is that right? I did. I did, Tell me, yeah. Do you have a favourite python? <laughs> Goodness me, that is a really... That is a really, really good question. <laughs> Did you meet any um, of them? <laughs> well, John Cleese is yeah. just, yeah, was remarkable, wasn't he? And mm. just remarkable, the whole Faulty Towers thing. And yeah, and Michael Palin, and he's gone uh. on to do so many different things. And yeah, and Eric Idle, obviously, who wrote it and, and, and kind of got the whole thing together. But I, for me, in a kind of favorite Python way, John Cleese, because he was just, he was so huge. And so, and so physically inventive. It was so ridiculous what he did, the whole silly walks thing. And yeah, so he would be my absolute hero. And, and he's kind of, his actor's photo, his spotlight photo is famously ridiculous, isn't he? He's always pulling a funny face or looking the other way. I just, yeah, I just love his kind of, um, uh, he's throwing caution to the winds. Last time I saw his spotlight photo, he was in a full body rabbit suit. You couldn't even see him. <laughs> 
<laughs> Good for him. Hey, now you recently appeared in Afterlife, the second series of Ricky Gervais's dark comedy. Well done, brilliant piece of work. I suppose now that David Bowie's passed, he's got to work with somebody, so Gervais picked on you. Um, <laughs> Can you tell us, is he writing season three? Is season three coming? Do you know, I d A, I don't know. And B, even if I did know, I w I'm pretty sure I wouldn't be allowed to tell <laughs> You're not allowed very, to uh, tell me. Yeah, it's a Netflix thing. And they're very, very, very strict on that kind of a thing. But it was a joy to do. I do think, it, I, I remember watching the first series sort of back to back. And, and it, I just thought it was extraordinary. It's an extraordinary piece of work because it's a comedy about grief yeah. and 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 that shouldn't work and and it's the most remarkable thing to have a thought of and b executed a, as he did I, I honestly think he's a genius yeah i think it's a great piece of work i tweeted him my congratulations surprisingly i didn't hear a reply but never mind <laughs> Uh, Bill, you've done some amazing theatre in some amazing venues. You've appeared in some brilliant television. What's next for Bill Ward? Are you going to direct some theatre? Have you ambitions to create and produce your own TV? Where would you like to go? Gosh, that is a really good question. It, 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 you know, lockdown focuses the mind in, in that kind of a sense because it is, it's, a, it's a cultural desert out there at the moment as you know and it's one of the reasons why you're doing these interviews for your local theatre um it's difficult to know I, I i'm an out and out actor is what i would say i've sort of thought about directing and i've thought about writing i know you write an awful lot it, it, it neither of those things are quite my bag i'm sort of i always sort of describe myself as an emotional tourist i kind of i i really enjoy the 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 putting on of other people's feelings lives emotions and and sort of trying to to get a, be a part of who they are and so in that sense i suspect with this business um the it, the acting is still very much the part of it that interests me i mean i've got sort of various there are various sort of parts that i would still love to play i'd still I, i've never had a go at the scottish king I'd love to have a go at the Scottish King. Um, and then there's, there's all sorts of um, Arthur Miller and Tennessee Williams that I'd, I'd love to have a, a go at. You know, proper, strong, heartfelt drama that, that those guys do so well. A bit of faded glory, a bit of um, nostalgia looking back to the past, which both of those playwrights do with such skill. Um, so a bit of that. And then... On the, on the other front, uh, for me, is uh, when I'm not acting, I'm a photographer. And, and I was going to ask about I, Bill Ward photography. Yeah. You have a thing about murmurations, haven't you? <laughs> I do. <laughs> yeah, we live just down the road from the Somerset levels. And, uh, and we try and go every year. And I've just been posting a whole series of those on, uh, on Instagram, as you have obviously uh, noticed. Yeah. Um, but um, it, it, photography for me is it very much a yin-yang thing with the acting because that acting is fabulous and and obviously not at the moment but generally you're surrounded by this extraordinary energy humming rooms very small rooms often humming with ah. humanity energy all sorts of brilliant ideas and and i love that and then but by the same token i also like a bit of space um, and, and, and just hanging out with Mother Nature, really, and, and somewhere deserted, either cliff tops, mountain tops, by the sea. And so, I, and so for me, both of those things put together make a sort of, make me very happy. So if I can keep the acting, you know, doing lots of decent work as and when it comes back, which is, you know, I mean, you know, we're here we are in, in June and we're still, we're, we're kind of looking at November, December, really. So it's still a long time away. So in the meantime, I, I'm, do, I'm currently doing a lot of photography and um, I'm getting out and about and, uh, and taking pictures of all sorts of things that, um, that, that, um, that keep me happy. Fantastic. Well, if you ever make your way up the M5, stop in Tewkesbury, snap a photo of the Roses Theatre and tell the world how wonderful we are. I will do. Well done, Nick. Bill Ward, thank you very much. It's lovely to chat to you again. Uh, we'll see you next time for Two Minutes of Roses. Bill, thanks very much. Pleasure, Nick. Thanks very much.